So Apple today has announced some exciting new features coming to Apple Music. We have spatial audio with Dolby Atmos, lossless audio, and Apple even quote, Apple Music is making its biggest advancement ever in sound quality. Cannot wait to try this out. It should be coming soon on iOS 14.6, which is releasing sometime in June. And we're gonna be changing the way how we listen to music on Apple Music. Now, just in case you guys don't know, spatial audio is technically 3D audio and the support of Dolby Atmos, that's gonna take it to a whole nother level. So it's similar to searching on YouTube for 3D sound or 3D music, where the sound is giving you the illusion that is coming all around, but Apple is taking it a step further. And the way how this work, it utilized the W1 chip or the U1 chip, which by the way, is only available for the AirPods Max and AirPods Pro. So just keep that in mind. And it just tracks your head movement. So it knows exactly where the sound should shift. It's really like, it's really jaw dropping, something that you're gonna have to experience to really get a full understanding. Now, right out the gate, when this update is available, thousands of songs will be supported. That number is gonna be growing. Now, Adobe Atmos is gonna also work on built-in speakers, such as the iPhone, iPad, or Mac, if it supports Adobe Atmos, of course. And oh, did I mention that this is also included with your Apple Music subscription? Apple could have easily, easily introduced Apple Music Pro, featuring all of these new features, and price it at $15 for individuals and $20 for family per month, of course. But hey, everything is included with your current Apple Music subscription. So if you're a student, individual, it's still gonna be in the same prices. All right, time for the elephant in the room. Lossless audio. Okay, this has been floating around for months now, actually. Lossless audio or high fidelity sound is just giving you the studio sound. So whatever your favorite artist plays that song in the studio, that's exactly how you're gonna hear it. Tidal been doing this for years but it's just been on the pricey side. Apple Music will also make its catalog of more than 70 million songs available in lossless audio. So all of the 75 million songs will have lossless audio, which is pretty impressive. Apple is using ALAC, Apple's lossless audio codec. This is gonna preserve every single bit of the original audio file. So little to no compression at all. Maybe it's just no compression. And this means, like I mentioned earlier, you hear the same exact song that the artist created in the studio. Lossless audio is something that you will need to enable. So you have to go into the settings app, music and audio quality. So lossless tear starts at CD quality, which is 44 kilohertz, and then it goes up to 48 kilohertz. Lossless audio can go all the way up to 192 kilohertz. That is mind blowing. Like compare 44 kilohertz to 192 kilohertz. That is just, but there's been a lot of controversy going on. Now, in case you guys don't know, lossless audio is only for wired headphones or wired devices. So you will need to plug in USBs and you have to be connected hardwired. And it's just because of Bluetooth limitations. Bluetooth simply just cannot support lossless quality. So high res lossless will require a USB dongle to analog converter. Now, if you wanna to listen to lossless on an iPhone, same applies, you need hard wire. But where things get tricky and the answer still remains, we still try to figure it out, the Lightning to 3.5 millimeter does not support the AirPods Max if you wanna to listen to lossless. So the AirPods Max, you just cannot listen to lossless. You drop $600 and you just can't get the lossless quality. Now, I read another article earlier, the HomePods does not support lossless audio as well. So I feel like this is a feature that Apple should have left in the oven a little bit more until they can figure out a solution. Maybe Apple could release some kind of an adapter to experience lossless audio, but I feel like the solution to this Apple should have added in Type-C to the AirPods Max, and then you could probably connect it to your iPhone and be able to have some kind of lossless audio just like so. That could have been probably the problem because Lightning isn't really too significant to produce lossless audio. I'm not sure, I'm not an engineer, but I feel like Apple could have did something to the AirPods Max to prepare ourselves for lossless audio because let's not forget, the AirPods Max has been in development for quite some time. If you guys have been always keeping up with the leaks and rumors, this was heavily leaked, heavily rumored. It was just like the AirTags. And at a point in time, this was called the AirPods Studio. But now, as we know, it's the AirPods Max. So it's just quite unfortunate how we don't have lossless 
audio on the AirPods Max. A little disappointed on that, but I know it has to be something going on in the pipelines. We know the AirPods 3 is coming up soon, relatively soon, but I just feel like Apple wouldn't release something that you cannot experience, or you have to buy a third party accessory to experience it. Like I can't buy an Apple headphones and I can't experience lossless audio. It's just a little weird to me, but nonetheless, that's what everybody is talking about in the tech scene. But for the average consumer, you're gonna enjoy spatial audio. You're gonna enjoy Adobe Atmos. You're not gonna really care too much about lossless, but if you're an audiophile, you're gonna be pretty disappointed. And fun little fact, I just wanna throw this in there. This is my favorite AirPods ever. This is on top of the list. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that, but I love my AirPods Max. They feel comfortable, they sound good, it sounds remarkable, and just added in spatial audio to Apple Music is gonna add that cherry on top. I love my AirPods Max so much, so much. And the fact that we don't have lossless audio, ah, I don't know. It don't kill it, but it's just a major disappointment. So all three of those features coming in June next month. We don't know when, maybe somewhere around WWDC, which is where Apple announced iOS 15. All the new software coming to your Apple devices next month. Of course, I'm gonna be covering that, so make sure you guys subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on. I'm gonna pick up the Lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter to see if we can get lossless. I'm gonna to get to the bottom of this, so you guys definitely don't wanna miss that video.